um, you know, and, uh, he's a special little one, um, I don't know if, uh, why he's being so still there, he's trying to tell me something, probably wants to go outside, but if it's gonna get that cold, you know, you know, we don't need to be going outside, so he's gonna have to eat, I guess, crackers and, and, and water, I, I'll go get him some, um, you know, bird food, you know, if he wants to kind of hang out, I mean, you know, he'll sleep up there in the light, but he knows he's on film, look how he steals a statue, but he'll, I'm telling you, when, when he was not being watched, and he knows he's not, I'm not watching him, he, uh, um, will come over right here next to me, and sit on the couch behind me and everything, and watch the computer screen, you know, he knows he's he knows he's on film. Look how still he is. You see him? Right there on the end of the table, right in the middle of this screen. Uh let's see. What is well, I wanna verify the time and date of this video. I'm not sure of the date. I think it's January today is what, Wednesday, January twentieth or something. And uh about six 6.30 in the evening, so this video is brand new. Why are you being so still? What you want, buddy? You know, he's not, he's not like, you know, it, it, this is, he's real. And this is his second visit. You know, he was here about a week ago, and he, I let him out the back window. He could flew up the steps into the front door here. And then he, and he flew out the back window, and then like four or five days later, which was last night, he flew, I had the door down there open, and this door open, and he just flew right on in again. Huh. And they say that if a bird, that, man, I'm telling y'all, man, there's something trying to tell me something, like the the, the universe, the, the mother nature, something is trying to tell me something, and it has been for the past seven or eight months i promise you and i don't know what to do i don't want to and it's not as easy as you know the universe just can't tell me out loud what it's trying to tell me it it, it can't it has i'm sure the universe obeys its own laws of physics but there is something going on and, you know i just feel it you know i hope I, ho I hope it's something good i have a feeling it's something wonderful but you know I just, I don't really know what to do, but I'm going to keep, I'm not, I'm not, you know, you ever get that feeling like you got to, you got to do something, you got to say something, you're like, kind of like, like, you know how that story of Noah and the ark, like he felt like he had to build a boat, but nobody believed him, he's, and then sure enough, you know, it's kind of like that, or seeing a UFO, and you want to tell everybody, but, but nobody believes you, or understands, or knows, but then again, that also poses the question, who is everyone else around you? I mean, do we all see the and experience the world the same as everyone else? Or is it completely different for us all? But yet, it seems to be all in a mutual harmony. But just because it seems like we're all throwing a frisbee or playing baseball in a harmony, doesn't necessarily mean that we're experiencing it exactly the same way as everyone else. You know... You know, you know, similar to do we see colors the same, but in a, in a more profound, a more way of looking at it, do we experience the world the same as everybody? It could be completely different for us all. It just seems like we all see this and experience the same way. But who knows? It doesn't really matter there. But all I know is I know for a fact that I'm real, I'm self aware. And something is happening. And this little bird here is special in some way, shape, or form. Because even before he came around, I've been on Facebook. I've been everywhere trying to tell people something is happening. Something needs to be said. Something needs to be done. Somebody needs to listen to what I'm saying. Because all my life, I have, you know, scribbled and done automatic scribbles and drawings and everything. And that, that technique... I guess, since I've done it since a child, has opened up a, another part of my mind to where I can kind of, in a clairvoyant way, feel things, sense things, know things that the, the 
that goes kind of beyond our normal everyday senses, you know. And I'm not, there's nothing wrong with me. There is not a thing wrong with my mind. Um, I'm 100% lucid, you know, and 100% sound. Now, emotionally, yeah, I, you know, I miss my loved ones and my best friend and everything like that, but, but I'm stable. I mean, you know, I'm stable there, you know, and, uh, and, and I'm open to the idea that all this is just in my head and this bird's not even real, you know. Maybe it's just the way he's acting right now, being just real still. He's just a statue or a little toy I have sitting over there. But I seriously doubt it. If you look real close, he's real. He's real. He's moving. See his tail? And uh, breathing. I don't know why he's being so still. He's wanting something. He's probably wanting outside. And I don't want him to freeze either, but he knows, he, he's smart, real smart. He knows I've been watching him, he knows he's being uh, famous, he's famous right now. And uh, who knows how many people's going to see him. But maybe he was what was needed, you know, for people to maybe listen to me, or to help me figure out what it is that's happening. But everybody sees, feels, and interprets the world differently, you know, it's, it's just the way it is, now, now, you know, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, we, it, that one's wrong and one's right, we're all probably right, you know, it's just, it, just because we see it and feel and experience it, it doesn't mean, I, I think that whatever you want the universe to be and whatever you imagine it to be and whatever you think it is, is what it is going to be for you and it's never going to be wrong, you know. But there are the laws of physics. I mean, you, you, you can, you know, if you want to, you know, just spread wings and fly, then, you know, of course that's not going to happen, but you can definitely fly if you so wish. <laughs> like, you know... The way I do it is with the drone, racing drone, but way uh, more sophisticated. See, there he is. There he is. He's getting ready to fly or do something. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to let I need to open a window, but he's been, he's probably hungry or something. There he goes. Oh, there he went. Uh, where is he? Let's see. Where is he at? Right there, he's in the curtain. You can't see it because he's the same color. See right there in the middle? But, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll open a window for him, but I'm just scared he'll freeze. Anyway, this has been eight minutes long. And I, you know, anybody that's watched this long, you're crazy. Have a good night.